Hello everyone, it is Matt Tavoon, a wine review, and today it is off the Hidden Sea of South Australia, Shiraz. So, yeah, so I haven't had this wine before. I think I had the flavour of the wine, but I haven't had it from the Hidden Sea of South Australia. So, yeah, now I have mixed feelings on the packaging for some reason. I'm not really fond of the packaging. Like, I, I don't really mind packaging with, like, animals on it, and things like that, because I like, I like the beef, beef and liberty package for some reason. I don't know, I'm just like... Most like the font of the logo, so anyway. Alright. So there we go. Hmm. Let's have a review. Hmm. Interesting. Am I quite surprised by that? It has kind of like an oddly juicy taste to it. An odd thing. It sounds like it's kind of like a moderate jam shed wine. Because I never had a, I never had the brand of the Hidden Sea, Hidden Sea of Australia. But it's not bad, however, I think if you're going to try and make it, make your red wine a bit more fruity, a bit more fruitful, we might away go all the way through, like Jam Shed, this is kind of like in a purgatory middle zone. But I suppose if you like normal wines, you do, but you do like more fruity wine from Jam Shed and other companies like that, then both are a decent compromise, so... Not bad. So anyway, I'd say it's a decent wine. I only had a bit of it, but it doesn't seem that bad to be fair. Uh, it will be. It's on my top favourites. I only had a bit, but I'll have to say no. But you know, it's it's not bad though. I don't. I recommend trying it out. So anyway, uh, if you had if you had this wine before in a past, comment below below what you thought about it. I think it's all right. I think it's good enough. It's good enough wine. It's nothing too spectacular, but it's what you expect. But anyway, thanks for watching. Please like and follow. Goodbye.